Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello ladies, welcome to my spot. What men look for in a woman to mother their children. Now, this was requested by uh, one of my followers, and I think this is an important thing, because uh, contrary to popular belief, most men are not looking to either avoid women or talk trash about them. And then on the other side of that equation, most men ain't looking to be straight players. Most men are looking for a good woman, a good quality woman, a good quality supportive woman who not only can be a good wife to them, but a mother to their children. Many, like you get some men, of course, they ain't, they ain't really interested in kids or anything, but a lot of men want to have that legacy. A lot of men want to have that child. Indeed, many men who... Um, are having trouble with women and cursing them out and saying all this bad stuff, ultimately only do so because multiple women have rejected them, uh, especially since these men were looking for a woman to possibly have children with and marry. And the same thing with players. And, you know, and, you know because of the different, the different social thing, you get, I mean, you get some men who feel like they can just have a baby with a woman and they don't have to marry them. And, you know, that's something else. I've had some women tell me a guy would want to have a baby with him. And you get some women like that now. The question was, what men actually look for to mother their children? Well, one of the first things, the first things is how the woman would be around some children. Like an intelligent man, if he's thinking about it, if he's thinking about it, he ain't just thinking about, oh, this woman. Like when we're looking at a woman, we ain't thinking, oh, she cute. I'll have pretty kids. Or, you know, like in a black community, you get some women think, well, this dude wants some light-skinned kids or some chocolate kids. We don't think like that. We're just thinking kids. We just, we, you know what, that kid is healthy, whatever. We good with it. Or beautiful kids. Men don't think that way. That's, that's a woman thing. You know, we just thinking kids. You know, most of us are boy, like thinking boy children, but you do get some men thinking girl children. We just want kids. So what type of woman is that? What type of woman is ideal in a man's eyes? The one, of course, who can have those, well, that can be a good mother. How is this woman around children? Is she showing any good uh, domestic skills? Is she the type who actually take care of a child and be there for the child, you know, and sacrifice for the child, whatever? If we're actually thinking in those terms, you know, not just who's having good sex and everything. Now, there's some there's some guys having kids with a woman, but they weren't thinking about it, you know, and then, you know, they see it later. But the intent, like one of the things to be clear about, a man thinking that way is going to be very conscious of who he deals with and how he deals with. In fact, he might. A smart man, first of all, is first of all just going to talk to you about your character. And he's going to see. He's not going to be in a rush. Like I said, get the players out your mind and get the guys who don't like women out your mind. Think about the guys who actually want to build. Like, a lot of these guys you'll find, they not only have maybe some type of class or anything or a professional degree making a lot of money but also you know their spiritual thing like one of the things we don't talk about in any of the relationships is how they are formed by the spiritual beliefs he might feel like hey it's his thing to be fruitful and multiply or to have children to have those heirs or he could be the type of guy who's actually building building something building an empire and he wants to leave it to a blood relative this is very important. This is very important. So, you know, he's looking for that woman can do it. He's looking for that woman less likely to commit paternity fraud on him. Now, I've done a couple videos on my men's channel about paternity fraud. This is a serious issue with a lot of men. Because we can't have babies. We can't have babies. So, one of the things, too, is we have to have that woman is not only have a baby for, for us. But a woman, we can trust that it is actually our baby. So 
one of the things he's going to look for, after he look for the basics of how she'll be with the kid, is how much can he trust her? Because he has to be able to look this woman in her eye and trust that that baby will be his baby. So, you know, they looking at a woman, they, they paying attention. Like a guy who is serious, a guy who is serious, he's paying attention to little things. He's paying attention to how that woman's interacting with other men, which other men are talking to. Like a lot of women don't realize that when you're dealing with a serious dude who actually wants to have that kid, he's sitting back. So, you know, if you that woman slow to return a call or you seem a little y'all out and you the woman seem to be looking around a little bit extra, he's gonna be thinking about that. He's gonna be thinking about that. And he's gonna be looking at those traits. And he's gonna be, you know, another thing he's gonna think about is like her overall family. And once again, let me let me be clear. I'm, I'm going to stress this probably a couple more times during this, like, small podcast. He is going to be very intelligent. He's going to be looking at it. He's going to be thinking about stuff, even just some little stuff. Like, one of the things he might pay attention to is family. It's like, okay, if I have a child with this woman, how is her family going to affect it? Now, if it's a good family, you know, everybody's cool you know, got some good manners and all of that, he might be like, okay, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. But if it's the type of woman crazy and some drama, he's like, damn, do I really want blood? Do I want to really share my genes with this family? (laughs) You know? So, you know, he's going to look at that. Now, the only exception to that is how much that she's behaving like the family. Like, if she got crazy family, but she trying to pull away from it. He's paying attention to that. Like, and I'm, I, I'm just got to emphasize that he's paying attention to all of this because he's, he's approaching it more intelligently. You know, he, he's thinking about it. You know, he's thinking about, you know, the more intelligent he is, he's looking at how, you know, he's probably looking at your spiritual beliefs. He's probably looking at your spiritual beliefs, especially if they're strong with him. Like I said, a lot of times in these relationships, and relationship discussion, we don't be discussing religion, and especially how the guy is. If he practices a certain faith where it's more required for the women to behave a certain way, well, he's looking he's looking at you and saying, oh, is she going to actually do that? You know, if you got a faith or a denomination or a sect that's like, you know, very much into feeding and everything, boom. And that's another thing, too. I know it sounds, and like, I'm going to go back to that domestic thing again. What does woman cook for the darn child? <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's gonna pay attention to it. He's gonna pay attention to it. He's gonna be like, hmm. And you know, the thing about uh, paying attention to how the woman acts for, with other kids, I'm, I'm gonna get back to that. You know, it's a lot of stuff. It's he's gonna pay attention. He's gonna see it. Like uh, I've seen, I know two women. I knew two women, both attorneys. Um. One, unfortunately, never had a child. Well, neither one of us had a child. One never had a child, but she actually would have made a good mother because her response around children was outstanding. But, it, you know, certain factors, she wasn't able to do it. But she would have made, she she had a very, she was very playful with kids, very attentive to them, and it needs. The other one wasn't. <laughs> the other one wasn't. So a man looking at them, he's going to go for the one more attentive. So it's very important. I mean, you know, ladies, the thing about the most important thing, though, is if you're trying, if a man is smart and looking for the mother of a child, the most important thing is are you going to behave like a grown woman as opposed to a little girl? See, a little girl, ain't she, she ain't looking out for her kids or anything like that. It's about her, her, her. Even if she had, if managed to have kids, still her, her, her. A smart man is going to look for that woman who's able to give to someone else. Because once you have a kid, shoot, your life ain't your own for another, at least probably for life, really. You're going to have to sacrifice some stuff. So are you that type of woman that does that? A smart man is going to look for her. Now, like I said, all of this is based on what the smart man would do. A lot of men, you know. And they just want to hit it, and then if they find out you're pregnant, they'd be like, hey, is that mine? <laughs> you know? 
but the smart men, what men look for in a woman, and just in general, because at the end of the day, every single man has something specific to him. So, anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>